Uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, and, uh, I don't think it'll be that too good. And we'll try to get these sales. Welcome back to the handlebar garden. Today we're going to put some armrest on this 2020 road glide, make the passenger a little more comfortable. And the story behind this is uh, we just went on a, a couple weeks ago, went on a 1500 mile ride in seven days, and we got home and uh, she needs to be more comfortable. So, whatever she wants, she gets. So, we're going to attempt this and uh, See how it goes and thought we'd bring you along. Get ready. I did read them, what not instructions, directions, however you want to say it. It don't say nothing about taking the seat off, but went ahead and took the seat off, a little easier access, and uh, mentions pulling the main fuse out for, because the accidental startup, it's locked up. There's not going to be no accidental startup, so. But the instruction says to do that. Uh, not going to do that. And then the next thing we do. Is all these connections here that connect to your tour pack? You're just going to undo, and I haven't undone these, so I'm every snap and whatnot is a little different. So, might end up coming back to them to figure it out. There we go. I just pushed in and out and these here. Same thing. There we go. Uh, this goes down there. Looks so like it's connected. Down there, you pull that out. Little keeper. And that should. Slide out like that. So I'm getting these out of the way. Then I looks like I've got one here. Except for your antenna. Antenna. Got that. And this big one here. It's a lot of wires going back there, and yeah, wait a minute. That may not even. I don't think that's part of it. Oh, I think we yeah, got it everything. goes to the speakers, don't it? That goes to those. All right. So we got that big one loose. So as far as I can tell, everything to the tour pack. Now we'll have to take this one up because it's attached here. I have to this off of the little keeper oh, it's one of them let me grab a tool real quick little popper uh for like door panels whatnot and little clips just grab it put it under here gives you a little leverage of course, if you don't have one of these, you can use a screwdriver or whatnot. There we go. So this is one of them little clips there. Actually, that might have just slid off. I don't, no, it's pretty, pretty attached. I think that's what, uh, at this point, I think the tour pack is up, up, so I don't think we we'll have to worry about that one. If we do, we'll get to it in a minute. But. I think at this point, uh, there's four uh, seven sixteenths nuts on the bottom of the tour pack. And just to be honest with you, right before we done this video, started this video, we turned one of them to make sure we didn't have to open the uh, trunk up and uh, grab it. It stayed 
where it was at, so we're going to attempt to uh, loosen those four up, take them out. Got to take the four pack off, and then we got a plate to put in. So uh, we'll get to that now. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll just run the camera up there and show you. We'll not bore you with taking all four of them out, but uh, looks like two of them's up there pretty deep. Might be a, a little challenge, but not too awful bad. So. All right, we got four seven sixteenths nuts. We've got one here, one here. This is one I already loose a little bit. You got one over up there, two up there. Those ones up front might be a little more time consuming, but uh, you just drop these four off and the uh, tour pack will lift right up. We'll see you in a minute. All right, got them four nuts loose. End up using a ratchet on it, send a bit a little better than a wrench. Uh, pop it off, no issue. We'll take this tour pack off. Uh, they're not too heavy. You just lift it straight up. Make sure all your wires are in the hook. Have a good soft spot to layer. We got some pads laid down there. So this is a plate, and this will be a good opportunity to uh, shine all this up if you uh, would like to. You know, all the road grind and whatnot gets in there. So we'll go get the plate and layer in here and uh, take care of that. What we got here is the, the plate. That's the way it sits on the back. This will be the right side. This will be the left side. Take this arm and they're marked right and left. Got a little R right there. I don't know if you can focus in on that, but uh, it's hard to miss. It's uh, pretty simple. And uh, it was slotted in this little indention. There's an indention right here below that R. The set screw is going to set right in it. So we're going to... Is that why they call it a set screw? Set screw. I guess that'd be right. You might be a... You might be pretty smart. One word. <laughs> One word. <laughs> One word. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, you just tighten that down. You'll, you'll torque this to spec. Uh, I know what the specs are, but I'll let you uh, do a little digging on that, and maybe uh, maybe you'll get yours, and you'll see what they are. It goes in there a pretty good ways before it catches, that's for sure. Okay, see I'm in that, in that little indention. So we'll snug that for now, and I'll torque that to spec here just in a few minutes. And then what you do for the other side, just put that on there. Same thing. So we'll get that, we'll get that, uh, Bolt up and we'll see you on the next step. All right, and I got those on there and then torque the spec. Next thing is Mike's going to hold this for me. And this is the right side, the right side. And these go in here and just give them a little twist and they'll go on in. Said they would. It's a little barren. There we go. There we go. This goes into place. And then uh, it's in there. And we'll just do the same thing for the other side. Alright, we've got sitting over here now. This is where you're going to have to have a second body. As you let go of this, it wants to slide all over the place. I'm going to get that tour pack and set it straight down in them holes right there. I hope. We'll see how that goes. And, uh, Shouldn't be too awful bad. You might want to empty your tour pack. Close, Mike.
Yeah. You want that one? Yeah. No, no. This is all fine. Right. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to slide it back once we get. Back in needs to go your way. She dropped right in place. What they've done here is they put holes down here to put your connectors back in for tabs here. So that's pretty cool because you can't reach them back here anymore. So uh, we work this fine. I just noticed as well, getting that seat on and off is, uh, wow. Yeah, that, that's going to be tight. Yeah. But, you know, I don't know that uh, that might be tough, actually. But we'll get it on there. So you can slide yeah. them out of the way and. Put it wherever you want to or wherever she wants to. And uh, we'll be good to go. We'll get these uh, nuts uh, snugged up, torque the spec, and uh, be good to go. All right, here's what we got. We tighten them four nuts up real good, torque them to spec. It's very important. And the plug ins, we just plug them right back up and everything. And just Put your wires back in, put your seat back on, whatnot. So this is what she's got now. Just take these, she can move them to here, she can twist it any way she wants to do. And if you go in here, they got a little compartment here too. Uh, stash stuff. They're gonna be a little stiff yep. for a while until they get broke in. Yep, so uh, uh, I think it looks pretty good. Yeah. Wasn't that a hard of a job? And, and I know we haven't done this before, like a one to ten, as far as difficulty. Yeah. But it wasn't no more than a four or five, if that. I mean, it was very simple. Well, with one person, even with an empty tour pack, it would take a lot to get it. I mean, you could do it by yourself, yeah. but it would, you'd invest a little more time yep. and run the risk of scratching something. Yep. So. Just because of that, I would I would go up to maybe a four or five, yeah. as far as difficulty. Other than that, I mean it's simple. Uh, two or three, I mean two or three bolts, and I mean it's yeah. done. So uh, hope you like this video. If you did, uh, hit us a thumbs up, and uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit your notification bell, and uh, we'll get you some more stuff here. Uh, out of here, we'll just start. Add more stuff as we go, so we can have a eighty, ninety thousand dollar motorcycle before it's over. But uh, appreciate y'all. Thanks for watching.